Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring a quick video just giving you guys my thoughts on the first half of season 12 of Supernatural on the CW. Uh, very happy to say that I am finally uh, caught up on the show, you know, after doing all those, you know, season by season general reviews, slowly catching up. Um, I finally caught up and, uh, you know, watched the mid-season finale that aired back in December, which is called Lotus. And so, yeah, I'm uh, set and primed to uh, review the mid-season premiere next week on uh, Thursday. Um, the premiere of that's going to be called uh, First Blood, and I will be reviewing every episode of the every new episode of the show going forward. Um, so I'm very, very much looking forward to that uh, because <laughs> a couple seasons and Supernatural uh, became one of my favorite shows of all time, and <laughs> a couple seasons after that, it pretty much became my favorite show of all time, you know, over everything else, really. Um, I watch a ton of great stuff. I've watched a, t a ton of amazing stuff, uh, but Supernatural, it's really risen above all that somehow for me. It's uh, really, really taken a special spot for me in my heart right now, um, so I'm very eager to be able to talk about it week to week on my channel. And uh, like I said, this is just going to be a quick video. I'm not going to go through like the details of each episode of uh, Season 12 so far or anything. Um, I just want to sort of just give my general uh, thoughts and impressions on the season so far. Um, overall, I think it's, you know, I think it's been a fairly good season so far. You know, I don't think it's uh, quite as good as Season 11 uh, right now, at least for me personally. Um, but there definitely have been some good elements uh, that are going right now, and it looks like the second half of season 12 will probably be a little bit uh, better overall, I think. Um, but that's not to say there haven't been some there hasn't been some really good stuff in uh, season 12 so far because there definitely has. Um, you know, of course, we started the season you know with you know, like Sam you know being captured by the uh, you know British Men of Letters and stuff, so we got that dynamic sort of introduced, but. My favorite part of the season so far has definitely been, uh, you know, Mary Winchester, you know, her being brought back by Amara at the end of season 11, seeing, uh, you know, the scenes because of that, I think, have been really uh, well done. Um, you know, the actress definitely does a good job, and it definitely adds another element, you know, to have her actually out and about and alive, um, you know, for the brothers. It really uh, gets you in the feels, I think, if, you're, if you've been a fan of the show for a while. Um, you know, so every episode of the season has been fine so far, in my opinion. Um, my least favorite, though, is probably, uh, episode 7, Rock Never Dies, but we'll talk more about that in a few minutes. Um, my favorite episode of the season so far, though, has been, or, uh, was, um, I think it was episode 6, Celebrating the Life of Asa Fox. Um, I really liked that one. It felt like the most, uh, <laughs> I know it's weird to say this, but it felt like the most, uh, grounded episode of Supernatural so far this season, I think, um, in the way that it felt more, it, it felt like an earlier episode in a way, you know, with, uh, the hunters congregating, you know, to, uh, celebrate, you know, the life of Asa Fox, you know, this hunter that they all knew or at least had heard of, and, you know, of course we have, uh, Jody Mills there because she had knew him personally previously, you know, I do like the Jody Mills as a reoccurring character as well as, uh, you know, Claire but, you know, she wasn't in that episode. Um, but I just like that feel to it, you know, with the whole setup from the other hunter and stuff, and then that demon that was there, them all being uh, trapped in the house. I thought it was a really good episode. Then he even had Mary arriving there because she had saved Asa when, she, when uh, he was a little boy, you know, thus spurring his interest in hunting and such. So they had really a lot of good personal stuff on that episode as well as, some, like I said, more grounded sort of a... Uh, older feel to that episode that I liked quite a bit. Um, so, you know, the Mary stuff has all been really good this season, and you know, I said my least favorite episode is probably Rock Never Dies. Still not, like, an awful episode, but you know, there's no awful episode of Supernatural, you know? They're all good to an extent. Um, but the thing that hasn't quite worked for me this season uh, has probably been Lucifer, oddly enough. Um, you know, I actually liked what they did with Lucifer back in the uh, season 11. Um, I do wish they had kept, uh, you know, his original vessel or the original uh, actor, Mark Pellegrino. You know, I really liked his work on being human, and I thought he just made a perfect Lucifer. So I always got a little bit bothered when they had him switch bodies and such. 
um, but I thought uh, Misha Collins, he did a pretty excellent job, you know, portraying the personality and the continued uh, character and such, and his development during his conversations with God towards the end of season 11, I thought were actually kind of interesting development, it was kind of an interesting development for the character. Um, but it feels like in season 12, um, they've kind of like uh, taken all that back in a way, you know, he's kind of like reacting like a child, you know, uh, oh, God comes back to me, my father comes back to me, but now he's abandoned me again. And he's, like, just lashing out, basically. And it doesn't really feel that natural. You know, it feels like they just, like, pulled back the development they gave him in season 11 just to make him a bad guy to go after again. I, I don't know. Um, it seems like Lucifer will be smart enough to understand what's going on. Yeah, maybe God uh, in the show had, uh, you know, just said what Lucifer wanted to hear in order to get what he needed. Um, but still, it just feels odd that uh, Lucifer doesn't really feel like as special as he used to. He just feels like another monster that's kind of tough to get rid of now. I, I don't know. And I also don't really like, I know Rick Springfield guest starred for a while as, you know, Lucifer's vessel. It was okay with him, I guess. Um, but just the whole plot of him trying to get the blood and stuff, it, didn't, it was kind of odd. And then Castiel and Crowley go after him. It also feels, I know, like, uh, Castile's been weakened for the past two seasons, but the fact that Crowley gets beat down by a guitar, it felt odd. <laughs> you know, it's like they pick and choose when to use their powers, and it, it feels like sometimes they're a little bit too normal. Um, like how powerful Crowley showed himself to Sam to be, you know, back at, towards the end of season 10, I think it was. He hasn't really gone all out like that since, and it feels like he would have <laughs> quite a few times by now again, but... You know, those are just some gripes I do have with the season so far. Overall, I think it has been pretty enjoyable. I think the British Moonlander stuff is uh, fine so far. Uh, I did like the catch, you know, finally showing his face, you know, with assisting, uh, you know, Sam and Dean when they were, uh, you know, nearly captured by Lucifer's men, or the President's men, the Secret Service, I should say. Um, you know, I think that's a fun dynamic, and the, the Mary stuff, I think, has been really good. You know, I hope they use her quite a bit more in the second half. Um, I'll we'll probably hold off on it a little bit, you know, at least a couple episodes, I think. Um, but, uh, yeah, overall, it's still been an enjoyable season, you know, so far, I think, like I said, it does have a good amount of stuff still going for it, and I still have faith in where they're going to go in the long run this season. Uh, you know, definitely uh, good, you know, just not my favorite, and, you know, I do think it's better so far than, like, season seven or uh, certain other parts of other seasons, so it's definitely not, you know, awful or anything season 7 wasn't either but yeah so let me know what you guys think about season 12 so far and like I said I'm really excited to begin reviewing the show week to week when it comes back next week I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time, peace